I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. The future of the Jefferson County Fairgrounds will be up for debate this week. The county is trying to cut $16 million from its budget and closing the fairgrounds is a top option. The Jeffco Horse Council is meeting tomorrow night at the fairgrounds. That meeting is outside and people should wear face coverings and maintain social distancing. No more free days at the Denver Zoo. The zoo says because of the pandemic and attendance restrictions, they will not be holding any free days for the rest of the year. Zoo will release some free tickets for certain days and times in November and December, but they haven't announced yet when those tickets will be available. It's that time of year again. Be bear aware. Colorado Parks and Wildlife reminding people to secure trash, remove bird feeders from their yards. They say bears are getting ready to hibernate and they're spending up to 20 hours a day searching for food. So don't leave pet or livestock food outside. Secure your compost piles, keep garage door closed, and don't keep food in your car. It's going to be a hot start to the week with afternoon highs hovering around 90 degrees in through Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday at 87 for our afternoon high. And we'll have mostly sunny skies, so it is going to remain dry for the most part across the state. Once we get toward Friday, things start to cool down a little bit more. 83 Friday afternoon, and there's another 70 showing up by Sunday. 73 degrees and partly cloudy skies. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.